Well, tonight, President Trump will deliver the State of the Union Address. Our D.C. correspondent, Bree Jackson, is live on Capitol Hill this morning. And joining us now, Bree, what can we expect to hear from the president later this evening? Good morning, Mark and Leo. While well, the White House guest lists include prison reform advocates as well as families affected by the opioid crisis, the president is expected to use those personal stories to highlight how his policies have had a positive impact on the nation. In addition, the president's words are likely to set the political tone moving forward. President Trump says his address to the American people tonight will help heal old wounds. I think it's going to be a speech that's going to cover a lot of territory, but part of it's going to be unity. The president is sure to make his case for a border wall, which was at the center of debates during the nation's longest government shutdown. Senator Mark Warner wants assurance that federal workers' pay won't be held hostage during future debates. What I'd like to hear is a commitment. In addition, senators say they hope the commander-in-chief offers effective solutions to issues issues, including border security. Driven by border security experts, not driven by a White House that has uh, frankly made this just a hot-button political issue. Presidential advisor Kellyanne Conway says the president's speech will focus on policies over bitter politics. I think it's also an address that celebrates uh, so many uh, accomplishments for the United States of America that he would like to highlight as the leader of our nation. And I don't think the American people nor I want to go through two years of just partisan bickering. With a divided Congress, Senator Shelley Moore Capito says she believes the president will adopt a positive tone and provide a bipartisan path forward. To achieve some goals like infrastructure, like immigration reform, like um, some of the improvements on the opioid and, and the health care issues. And after the president's speech, the Democrat Democratic response will come from former Georgia gubernatorial candidate Stacey Abrams. And Mark and Leah, tonight Democrats invited a transgender service member, families separated at the border, and others negatively impacted by the Trump administration's policies. In Washington, Bree Jackson. Bree,